it's almost 15 degrees Celsius in here now, which is great. I also wanted to go jumbo size, so that's why I bought this bag. I'm going to fill her up. Oh, trust me. We can see that you're filling her up, as you say. As I said, this is why you're putting all the weight back on. You claim it's because I have to make videos for YouTube, for all you people. No, it's because you make the worst choices in eating, and you won't stop eating. You do your carnivore shit, and you just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. And then you make up these excuses. Oh, it's calorie deficits. That's why you're hungry. Or you're always hungry now because you eat shitty food, like when you eat the carbs and that. No, that's just you paying attention to a video that tells you that bullshit that uh, is not proven or has been debunked. Because you don't have to take accountability when you use those excuses. Take some freaking accountability for yourself. Admit that you love the shitty food and you're not going to stop. I'm going to get crazy tonight. I might like to do anything at any time. Gotta make sure we have a nice cold beverage on this nice cold day. That does not make sense. That does not make sense. It does not make sense. Does that make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, I am not making any sense. None of this makes sense. And so you have to remember. When you're in that jury room deliberating and conjugating the Emancipation Proclamation, does it make sense? No. Ladies and gentlemen of this supposed jury, it does not make sense. The defense rests. Oh, okie dokie. Big pot for a big meal. And Dr. <laughs> stove. I'm going to unplug the uh, heater just just to make sure we don't blow a fuse. And that, that thing is going nice and strong. We've got our vent open, letting out any nastiness. Good to go. Put it on to medium heat and we're going to do half the onions with oil. We'll put in some uh, avocado oil. Look at that lazy chopping. Some of the onions are cut up into smaller pieces, but then he has so many long strands. Like, that's exactly what you don't want to have in a chili. You want them to be uniform so that it's all cooked evenly when you are sautéing them. This just shows how lazy Ken is. Provided he's actually the one that did it. It wouldn't surprise me if Carol did all this prep work for him, to be honest. I cut up uh, three cloves of garlic and then put them in this little dicer or mincer. You put your garlic in there, squash, comes out the bottom. It's got like a little handy dandy tray. More handy dandy useless crap that Ken doesn't need to make his life easier. Yeah, Ken, you're such a, a chef. What chef do you know has a handy dandy little mincer dicer thing like that that they bought probably off Amazon? That you throw all your stuff from there into it. Woo! Wow, that's strong. I'm gonna cut up one of these while we're waiting. Jalapeno. Oh, there's Ken on full display. Now he's uh, mocking Mexicans by making a stereotypical Mexican um, accent for his video. Good job, Ken. 
you're really showing everybody that you're not such a bigot or racist. Yeah, like, you don't make fun of Indian accents in your videos either, do you, huh? No, you're, you're so tolerant of other ethnicities. Got the chopped green chilies ready to go. Pinto beans up next. So I got this tomato paste, says two tablespoons. I put three by accident. Oh, it smells great in here already. Holy smokes. I'll make sure I leave this Frito pie recipe in the description of this video so you guys can enjoy it too. Well, all the uh, pink is gone uh, out of the meat, so I just have to now move all the meat to one side, drain some of this fat off there, and uh, move on to the next step. Shut that off for a second, it's gonna beep like crazy. All the meat's out, just draining all that extra fat that we don't want. Turning the heat back on, putting the meat back in. There we go. To save a little bit of time here, I uh, pre-measured all the spices and put them in uh, this little container so we'll just, oh, that smells amazing. Holy smokes, like instant. The fragrance of, fragrance of that was just fantastic. Fragrance of, fragrance of, fragrance of, fragrance of, fragrance of. And then it also said to add in your chilies. Your pinto beans. I don't have anything really to drain. It. Oh, I could drain it from here, I guess. Probably half the can, I guess. Oh boy. Oh, it smells so good. That's a lot of food. This is so much fun. If you have more recipes like this that you want to see me cook in mousse. If anybody was watching this video, I don't think the word fun would be used to describe it because he doesn't crack a smile. He just looks so glum the entire time. But he seems to think in his own little mind that he's being such an entertaining uh, chef, I think most people have more fun during a bowel movement than Ken has in any of his videos, to be honest. <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section below. And we'll see what we can do for you. I'm very excited to taste this, man. I think the last time I had Fritos is when I did that, uh, Bucky's Texan dog and I had to put those on top of the hot dogs but that is a lot of food man well duh the description of the recipe says that it makes six servings and you're making yourself a giant ass bag of Frito pie 
that I'm sure you polished off throughout the night. Can you just imagine the calories and the sodium and the fat content that was in this meal that he ate? Like, it would just be through the roof. Again, no wonder he's getting fat. I'm telling you, with the way that he's showing what he's eating these days, he is a heart attack waiting to happen. Wait, just, just wait and see. It's going to happen. He doesn't want to listen to people. He thinks he knows what's best. And even his doctor did not agree with him on this course of action, but he went against their, adv their advice, their professional advice. The, uh, the tomatoes, the crushed tomatoes were still kind of frozen. Carol found them in the freezer, so uh, it's, it's kind of cooled it down a little bit. Let's cut open our Frito bag. Fritos. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm going to put the Frito bag on a plate just so that when the heat possibly goes through, it won't go through to my hand. The recipe actually calls for, I think, four small bags. It's actually six small bags. You had the piece of paper with the recipe right there. You couldn't look at it. Lazy, lazy, lazy. And you're supposed to split it with four people. But we did half the... Oh, actually, I don't think we did half the recipe. How did you have the recipe? If you cut it in half, then you wouldn't have used a full pound of ground beef. This was supposed to be for six servings, not four, as I keep saying, you doofus. All you're trying to do is make yourself look like you're not eating like a friggin' glutton. So what you just said makes zero sense whatsoever. We kind of half the recipe. So our toppings are going to be the rest of the onions, the chopped jalapenos, and of course, your shredded cheddar cheese. Apparently this whole thing started in Mexico and slowly uh, moved its way into the United States. And then that was it. Everybody's doing it. What a great camping idea. Okay, that is crazy hot. Shutting the stove off. Letting it cool down a little bit, maybe. Maybe not. Get this in the bag. Oh boy. That look good. Mm. Put that right on top of your Fritos.
Is that perfection or what, guys? No! 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 No, no. No, no. No. No! 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 No. 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 No, 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 the Frito Pie monster size, family size. Holy cow, man. And that's about as creative as Ken Doofus's little mind can go. You can scratch it. You can sniff it. The rest is mine. I wonder who Ken stole that little bit off of because I have a hard time believing that he came up with with that. Granted, he still stole the whole scratch it, sniff it aspect because that's been around a lot longer than uh, his channel. So I'm guessing you need a f spoon for this. I don't know any other way you could possibly do this. So it looks like I got Fritos, lots of beef, piece of onion, no jalapeno. Why do you insist on saying what you have in your bites? We know what's in the friggin' recipe. We saw you cook it. So you don't have to say, Oh, well, it's got dish and dish and dish on your spoon. So this is gonna go in my mouth, okay, people? So how about just shutting up, shoving it down your gullet so we can get this over with? Wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow,
Here comes the fake theatrics from Ken Doofus. Woo! Uh oh. <laughs> I think maybe I put a little bit too much cayenne pepper in there. Because that called for it. Now let's do a little bit of that again. And this time, oh, I have a jalapeno, fresh cut jalapeno. Oh, crunchy. Delicious. Is it possible for you to chew with your mouth closed, Ken? You seem to constantly chew with your mouth open. People don't like to see that. It's gross. It's bad enough that we need to see your face. That is super awesome. Especially when you get the, um, the Fritos in there with that extra crunch and salty goodness. Wow. That is super, super good. Way to go to the Mexican people for creating that. Who would have thought? Cut up on a bag of chips or Fritos because I don't got a plate. Just rip open the bag, throw my chili in there, take it home. They ate it and they're like, whoa. I caramba. Can I just say that of all the idiots, in all the idiot villages, in all the idiot worlds, you stand alone, my friend. That is very yummy, super crunchy. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Super yummy, super crunchy. Ugh, that's just amazing. That's how Ken described the food. Because he doesn't know how to describe what he's eating. Isn't it funny how we've called him a sellout and he made a video about how he's not a sellout. And we call him a hack, but he's never made a video to say that he's not a hack. So he knows that he's a hack, that he doesn't know a damn thing about food. That's another thing. We say he's not a foodie. And he doesn't make a video on that to, to, to counter us. So, Ken, kudos to you for not being a foodie and being a total hack. At least you can admit to those two things. It was nice not being outside freezing to death. I'm trying to cook that over an open flame. I'm so glad we put the swivel seats in here. I started to go to the back to get one of the uh, deck chairs and I'm like, ah, let's use my swivel seat. Much easier. So let everybody know in the comments below, still steaming. If you've ever done this or if you've created some other recipe with a bag of chips of some type, then poured your favorite Mexican dish over it. Ken, you do realize that it's wrong of you to just falsely assume that chili is a Mexican dish. It originated, according to historians, along the border between northern Mexico and southern Texas. No one really knows if it was the Mexicans or the Americans that uh, created it. Like, again, this is just you being a stereotypist. It might also surprise you to know, Ken, that salsa was not created by the Mexicans. Churros were not created in Mexico. Burritos were not Mexican. So, again, don't always assume, numbnuts. I could totally see some restaurants doing this. 
I think I've actually heard of some restaurants doing the uh, Frito pie. Good job, Kenny boy, on completely negating what you said with a follow-up statement. You do this all the time. It's so damn annoying. But I guess that's just part of your dumb dumb stick. Mmm. Of course, the uh, the Fritos that came in contact first with the mixture are all soggy. As I've been a little heavy-handed on purpose, I guess, with the memes and not wanting to use this one for a third time in the video, I'm just going to say it myself. No shit, Sherlock! So you had to get to the other ones that haven't been contaminated. Yeah, that bag is now a biohazard with all the Ken germs swimming around the bag from the pieces that he's partially chewed and fallen out of his mouth into the bag and the spoon with all the God knows what's coming out of his, his saliva going in there. Ugh. Mix it together so you can enjoy that savory goodness. Mmm. That is unbelievable. This is the first thing I've eaten today. Wow. Yeah, the only thing I had today was two co three coffees. Two at home. One at Tim Hortons. I have my water with my electrolytes in it. So this is extra, extra tasty. Definitely put the fresh jalapenos on there, man. It adds a really nice flavor and heat. My stomach is freaking out right now. I'm not sure if you can hear it. It's just gurring away, growling or growling away. Growling. Your stomach was growling, eh, Ken? Your stomach going bonkers like that could be a sign that you might, maybe, Shouldn't be eating certain foods like that. Thanks to everybody for leaving comments. In a couple of videos ago, I asked you what kind of movies should I watch when I'm doing these solo camping. Lots of great suggestions. I'm making a list and checking it twice. Just a moron. I'm just trying to figure out which I would like to watch uh, with your recommendations. So the mixture all by itself is phenomenal. It's phenomenally phenomenal, people. When you add the chips, exceptional. Mind blowing. That face does not speak mind blowing to me. It speaks crazy, sad, old, senile man sitting in the back of a van in a camping space eating a bag of shit and thinking that it's exceptional fine dining cuisine. I'm going to eat a little bit more, and then uh, we'll uh, figure out what movie I'm going to watch. Uh. 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 You just had to do that at least once in this video. We saw you take plenty of other sips, and you didn't do it. So it's proof that you do it just to, to make it dramatic. So stupid. But like I said, give this a shot. Just going through a ton of comments with movie suggestions and uh, Dan Abnormal said you should watch an old 
Schwarzenegger movie like Predator or Commando? All you ever watch is old Schwarzenegger movies. So it makes me wonder if you've got a heart on for Arnold. Like, seriously. I think we're gonna go Commando. Ooh la la. We're gonna go Commando. Ooh la la. Ken Domic, comic genius. Not. Thanks, Dan. Found it on Disney Plus. Grab my water with my electrolytes. Let's do this. Enter full screen. Done. See you in an hour and a half. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's why I made you. You did. I lied. Right. <laughs> Start off your unit again, John. All it would take is you're coming back. No chance. Well, Dan, thanks for the recommendation. I have seen that movie probably 20 times in my lifetime. from the 80s of Arnold's fantastic movie um Ray Don Chan was awesome in that movie as well and uh yeah look forward to more of your suggestions guys it's almost 9:30. I'm probably just gonna watch uh, a couple YouTube videos and uh then we'll brush our teeth get ready for bed Quarter after 10, time to hit the hay. Mattress heater is on, so it's on medium, so I might have to actually maybe turn it down to low because I think it's probably gonna get too hot in here, especially if I have this hoodie on. But uh, sometimes the air gets a bit cool or chilly in the middle of the night, but the heater should be able to keep that temperature a little bit nicer than uh, being on the cold side where uh, your nose gets cold and stuff. But I got my YouTube hat on, so hopefully that will, I'll pull that over my nose just in case I do get cold. But I think we'll be fine in here tonight. Um, again, I also have the electric blanket on underneath the comforter. And so I am double sandwiched in between two electric blankets, basically. We all know how Ken likes to be the middle of the sandwiches on his little uh, guy trips, eh? Allegedly. <laughs> So I am not going to be cold at all tonight. And after that amazing dinner we had, uh, I am definitely going to sleep like a baby. Baby all snug. Baby all snug. Baby all snug. Ken is a baby and he's snug as a bug. So I'm going to set my alarm for probably 7 o'clock. And... Uh, then we'll just get up and pack everything up and uh, head on out. Have a good night, guys, and we'll see you in the morning. 
Well, wasn't this the lamest little fiesta that we've ever seen from Ken Doofus? Just another video of a sad old man sitting in the back of his sprinter camper van that he's destroyed and cooking himself up a Mexican feast in a bag with Fritos and chili and jalapenos. I don't even want to imagine what that uh, vehicle was going to smell like in the morning with all the the flatulence that was going to be going on all night long. But we had to endure watching Ken do more secret filming inside of a private store where they have a policy of no recording, but he completely ignores it. He complains that he can't just buy a single jalapeno, complains that he can't get a smaller can of beans, and he just complains, complains, complains. That's all he ever does. He films himself doing his grocery shopping all the time now, and shows it, you know, the, the cooked product on his uh, vlog videos because now he's writing off his grocery bill. Not only is he writing off the food that he orders from restaurants, but now he is going to the extent of writing off his entire grocery haul because Ken doesn't want to pay his fair share of income tax. Ken cannot come up with his own original ideas. He couldn't even pick a movie on his own. He had to resort to suggestions made by his, uh, you know, maybe 100 viewers that actually pay attention to his crap. Yeah, he's got, you know, six to 700,000 subscribers, but he really only has a, a community that is about 100 to maybe 200 active viewers. That's why his channel is so, so, so dead. Because he doesn't have the ability to retain viewers. They click a button and then they completely forget about his channel. But he picks a movie that he's seen like 20 times in his life instead of actually picking something new. Hell, he claims to like to learn things, so why couldn't you pick a documentary? Actually make use of your time. The time that you claim that you do not have, but yet you have plenty of time to lay on a makeshift bed in the back of a van in the middle of nowhere uh, and watch a movie while filming yourself. Like, that makes total sense. But, I digress. I digress, I digress, I digress. Or as Ken would say, I digress. Until next time, this is KDDE signing out. Have a good one, and be well. The Ken Domic Dissemination Expose channel would like to take a moment to thank its loyal KDDE community builders for their support of the channel. If you would like to see the channel continue to grow and offer new and unique content, then please consider hitting that join button. With a little bit of help from a whole lot of people, the sky is the limit on what can be done to combat the scourge of YouTube that is Ken Doofus. The one thing Ken Doofus hates to see is the channel gaining members. For just $1.99 per month, you can really piss Ken Doofus off.